there is a grant that has been spearheaded. The clarion call of grant started 2017 by somebody called Olorun Keyede Donard. And in, in his name, there is also Reverend. And for some of us who don't know how this grant started, we were convinced about this grant 2017 when Donald Olon Keyede went to the redeemed Christian Church of God camp to hold a meeting with his NGO. Back to memory lane. Many people in this community are not living on drugs, BP drug, diabetes drug, all kind of drugs. So even the billions, the millions we are fighting for will be of no use because the time is already short. We have people of 60, we have people of 50, like me, still in my 40s, close to 50. What am I fighting for? My days are few. Good morning, everybody, in this wonderful platform. My name is Anno, the admin of this group. God bless you all. I, I have met some being in the past. But this is the first time I'm making this kind of open VN on this platform. And this VN is for AGPGN, UOAG, members of UOAG, members of AGPGN, top leaders in this grand struggle, top leaders in UAG, top leaders everywhere. The people that are making things to happen in the entire ecosystem. God bless you all. You have done noble. I want to lend my voice to Ross. <clears throat> as a child that is just learning, as a child that has been observing, to God be the glory. For over a year, if I'm not mistaken, we have maintained this group. And this group has never been locked. Do you know why this group has never been locked? Because this group is a church. This group is the house of God. This group is the house of prayers. That is why this group, no matter what, has never been locked. We have spent many nights praying for AGPGN, praying for UAG. At times I will I will have to get late at work because I live in Lagos. You have to wake up early morning. At times after praying from 12 to 1, I will be late at work the next day. We have made a lot of sacrifice. It got to the extent we couldn't hold on the circle anymore because of the pressure, the stress attached to it. It's obvious these people we are praying for don't really value what you are doing. No, well, whether they value it or not is not important to us. We are only doing the work of God. We are doing the work of God because it is ungodly to see a person fail. If after UAG or AGPGN, succeed and we are not counted as anything will return the glory to god that we have done our best praise the lord once more my name is anno there is a grant that has been spearheaded the clarion call of grant started 2017 by somebody called olorun keyede donard and in in his name, there is also Reverend. And for some of us who don't know how this grant started, we were convinced about this grant 2017 when Donald Olon Keyede went to the redeemed Christian Church of God camp to hold a meeting with his NGO. Back to memory lane. Some of us can still remember. When many of us heard that, ah, this man has gone to do a rally, has gone to do a program concerning this grant in redemption camp. We quickly ran into it. People ran into it in millions. That's to say that the clear call of this grant 
was enacted in the grand in the grand of Christianity. But I love that the Iadeboi, ever since after then, he has not been part of it. What a man of wisdom. So the people who are the main backbone, the people who are the who are the top shots in this project are pastors, ministers, reverend, apostles, bishops. You see, no matter how much a man of title is being mugged because of some inadequacies and the presence of God is still a special seed. David was so powerful. David was honored. But David could not lay his hand on God's anointed. I have made a VN one time and I won many. I made this VN around last year. I know many people don't reference that VN. Everything I said is what is playing now. I want all the men of God to be very careful that a time will come that they will, they will start fighting against themselves because of the power of Mammon, but they never listened. Praise the Lord. So the, the implication of the story of Jesus and the fig is that as far as the king of kings, as far the Yeshua and Masia is present in the situation, there is nothing called impossibility. All the great men in this grant, the one in the AGPGN, the one in UAG, they are all people who are soldiers in the kingdom of God and they are they are soldiers in the army of Christ which means that no matter the situation yes the fig does not have right to produce in a time that is not a season it's like you expecting papa to produce in the rainy season it's like you expecting mango by December no by by June you don't get mango by June you don't get sherry by June so the fig is does does not have a fault, but there is the presence of the of the God of all flesh. There is the presence of He that created the heavens and the earth. In that expression, there is the presence of Christ, but the fig still remain irresponsible despite the presence of Christ. That is what is playing in the grant community. 2017, God handed a mandate to us. And this mandate did not only come to us. This mandate brought all of us together from the 36 different states. But in eight years, we are not able to achieve this mandate. Do you know why? Because we put the king of kings, the lord of lords, we put him aside and we let the flesh, we let our human weakness, our human limitation to run the entire situation for us. Now you will see a man that is not a Christian will come and mock an apostle of God. At times I bleed when I see pastors being mocked, being rubbished. No matter, the Bible said the days of man is short and filled with trouble. If you are up to 40 years old, know that your life is not long anymore. So no matter the trillions, the billions you have am amassed to yourself, you will just spend it for a few times. Because the Bible said the days of man is 70 and you pray for more years. Now that you have been engulfed with the, with, 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 with the love of Mamun, can you even pray for more years? Are people even growing to 70 years this time? At the age of 60, your, your life has been limited to drugs. Many people in this community are not living on drugs. BP drug, diabetes drug, all kind of drugs. So even the billions, the millions we are fighting for will be of no use because the time is already short. We have people of 60, we have people of 50, like me, still in my 40s, close to 50. What am I fighting for? My days are few. Praise the Lord. 
What is it in the in this grant that we cannot achieve with everything? The Bible said, the Bible said, all powers has been given to us. Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 12. He said, Behold, the work that I've done, greater work than this shall you do. He's saying that we can even do more than him. He has told us, yes, the government situation is there. The, 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 the restriction is there. The wickedness is there. All kind of situations are there in the grant. But he, the king of kings, is already in the scene. So that there is end in the scene. No matter how impossible the situation will be, by the power in the name of Jesus, we will be able to manipulate the situation for advantage. This is one of the reasons why this group was created. Praise the Lord. And the reason why I'm coming out now is because I have seen that there are division already happening and the division is already playing on this group. There are some people in this group, a prayer group. There are some people in this group standing for AGPGN. There are some people in this group standing for UAAG. And the Bible said a house that's divided against himself will not do what? will not stand I will not be a party to division I will not be a party to strife I will not be a party to wickedness delaying the masses because of self ego because of selfish interest I I know will not be a party to it so please if such is playing on this platform know it that I I am not party to it. If you are calling me to prayers, if you are calling me to intercession, then be sure that there will be something, there will be a fruit in that house and that fruit is nothing but love, oneness, tranquility and understanding to play in that situation or else my prayer won't go to heaven. God is a God of love. No matter what. The Bible even said we should pray for our enemies. We should do God do good to those that despitefully used us. I got discouraged to many of us who have who had so many big titles. When Akogun, a traditional shift, came out May 20th, that was the day I was so hot in this grand community. May 12th, May 20th to 2024. The man came out and he called a meeting. He tagged this meeting, meeting of law, of reconciliation and peace. And Pastor Amukbiton, a man of God, a man of love, a man of peace. Pastor Amukbiton, I understand that you have been hurt. But what would Jesus do in that situation? You came out and you make it clear that you are not part of that meeting. The next day, Apostle Ken Wakama came out again and made it clear that he's not also part of the meeting. Look at the game. A traditional chief, a man that has, not, has been alienated from the cause of the law, a man that does not carry the same seal that you, a pastor and apostle, carries, which is the seal of divine illumination, which is the seal of power, which is the seal of divine enablement, which is the seal whereby everything has come to an end and God begins to come. Where is the God in you? The Bible said we are complete in him who is the king over principalities and power. In him dwelleth the fullness of the body. Where is the place of the Holy Spirit? Yes, you are hurt. Yes, you have been manipulated. Yes, you have been wounded. But where is the place of a soldier? The Bible said whoever entangled himself with the affairs of this world cannot be the soldier that he has been called to be. Where is the place of brokenness? Where is the place of love? You can't activate the presence of the King of Kings 
and become fruitful out of season unless there is a seed of brokenness unless there is the fruit of the spirit in you galatians chapter 5 verse verse 21 he said love long suffering peace long suffering you can't you can't you can't manipulate outcome for your advantage in a difficult situation when there is no brokenness in your spirit and since then this man has not been really talking and you people who call yourself ministers of God cannot go back and say, sir, we are sorry. And this same peace has not come to play. We are calling for prayers. We are creating group for prayers. But there is no love. There is no oneness. There is no peace. Look at this group. It's tag UAAG, AGPGN, prayer for UAG and AGPGN. But the people we are praying for have separated. I am lending my voice to the grant community and I'm calling every sundry. I am calling Apostle Ken Wakama. I am calling Jama Machine. I am calling Pastor Amukbiton. We know that you people are the powerhouse that can make things happen. We know that if you say that things will not happen, it will not happen. We know that if you say things will happen, it will, will happen. We are not here to chastise you. We are here to beg you as children under you. We know that you have been broken. We know that you have been cheated. We know that you have been hurt. We know that you have been manipulated. But what would Christ do in this situation? Some people are saying AGPGN with disburse palliative. Some are saying uh, uh, UAG with the disburse grant. Now tell us how do we pray? In this group, we have become confused because those we are having sleepless night for are already separated. The Bible says wherever there is envy, there is uh, envy and there is strife. There is confusion and every evil works. Are we going to remain in strife? Or we are going to allow the love of God to reign in the community. We are begging you. We are begging you. Many souls will go to hell through this egoistic reaction that we are creating. Many people are getting discouraged of us. Please, my apostles, my reverend, you have not failed. You have not, you have not been rejected. God is still working through you. Please, let every ego, every pride, every self-esteem go down to the drain. The Bible said, whoever seems to be wise, let him be a fool. They will be wise before God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. He said in verse 19, he said, I will take the wise by their own craftiness. Can you see that it is the duty of a Christian to become a fool? Can you take up the emblem of being a fool? He now went to verse 23. He said, Ye are Christ, and Christ is God. My fellow pastors, my fellow ministers, my fellow reverend, my fellow apostles, you are a God. And when you are a God, you think like God. You walk like God. You behave like God. You manifest like God. God does not contend with men. No. God does not rub shoulder with men. God controls men by the power of the Spirit. Please, I beg us. You can't think like a non-Christian.